What is good guys, it's your boy Epic Libra, back with another video. So, my boy Tyler Perry got blasted, right? So by someone that basically wanted to get his attention and he got blasted. It was all up on a, on a billboard. Basically, what she was trying to do is basically let him understand that she wants a role. It's all cool and everything, but you know, I guess the way she went about it, he felt like it was wrong. So first of all, the person ran it out a big board, a big board, you know, by the streets of billboards and stuff like that and put her Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that in it and basically trying to reach out to him because, well, what, what else is she gonna do? She's gonna go on his DM and send him 1,000 messages while he ignores it every single time. She's gonna reach out to his team members so she can be considered a, a stalker. She's gonna follow him so that she can get locked up. Well, yeah, there's no other way to do this. The, only, the best way to do this is basically to make a statement so that he sees it, or if he don't see it, people that knows of him see it and tag him in it until he gets to notice it. So basically, all in all, yes, he basically ended up seeing it and, and noticing that the girl did that. What did he do? He reached out to her. Well, not reached out to her, but he wrote a post on, on Instagram and said that, hey, you know what? The way you went about this was not good. It makes me look at you sideways. This is not the way to get my attention. If you want to get my attention, the best way to get my attention is to audition. Auditioning is free and you can audition for a role and we'll go from there. I wish you great and basically the cliche stuff like basically, hey, I know you're going to be good in life. I have no doubt that you're going to be good in life. And I, I'm, she must have did a role before in, in another show or something like that. And he mentioned that he liked her in that show. He, he's seen that what she did and he liked it. So um, my thing is, just imagine, bro, just imagine, just imagine wanting to get Beyonce's attention for, for your whole existence, right? Or whatever, or, or wanting to express your interest and wanting to work for Beyonce for like your whole life. And you finally end up saving enough money to do that. And you rented a, a billboard and yes, the message got across and you actually got their attention because people are looking for people who wants to work, people who are dedicated, people who wants to put out that effort, people who are interested genuinely and want the best interest, have common goals, have common dreams, and it's in for the, the, their pe personal dream and not just for a paycheck or for an opportunity. That's what people are looking for, supposedly, in 2019. But, of course, when she did all she did to reach out to Mr. Perry um, so that she can get an opportunity, instead, he used the little time that she actually had to actually, you know, get him to speak or notice her that little time that little tiny time that he was supposed to notice her and actually appreciate the fact that she went above and beyond to get uh, 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 his attention and show that she really wants an opportunity and deserves an opportunity that time was used to tell her how much he did not like what she did rather than anything positive out of it hey am i saying perry's wrong no i'm not saying perry's wrong but all i'm saying is i thought we were looking for i thought people i thought this world is looking for people that are genuinely interested in certain things. So when people in, express their interest and go above and beyond to prove that, hey, you know what, I want you to notice me and I'm going to do whatever it takes for you to notice me so that you can give me an opportunity because I take this very seriously. Instead of actually, you know, doing something positive with that person's effort, you tell them save their money and this doing that makes me look at you a certain way and not actually give them an opportunity. I, I'm not telling you to go and hand that person an opportunity. Oh yeah, you put you know my a whole message on a billboard for me, so very good. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a role in one of my movies. No, everybody gotta work for what they have. What I'm saying is that person went above and beyond. That person should probably get an opportunity at auditioning. That person should probably have to get, get an opportunity to escape the line and be told, hey, you know what? We're going to have the next audition this date, this date, and this location. And I'm giving you a free uh, 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 ticket or whatever to be there, uh, a free ticket to be there and just audition. And best of luck to you. I hope everything goes well with that. that that's not handing the person anything. That's okay. I acknowledge what you did. Though I didn't like it, I'm not going to let your effort go to waste. Here's an opportunity. Go ahead, show up. Go ahead, go over there and show up. Show them what you got. And from there, we'll go and see what happens from there. You know what? That's cool. That's, you know, that, uh, nothing came out of it, really. I mean, yes, an audition came out of it. But 
she could have just go audition for free just the same way but at least you know something came out of it but literally nothing came out of this lady doing this whole effort with the billboard to get Tyler Perry's attention for an opportunity nothing he used the time to blast her on Instagram so the world could see that he did not like what she did rather than actually appreciating the fact that someone genuinely wants to work for you or someone actually is interested in wanting to do better and chasing their dream and is reaching out to whoever inspires them and wanting to do good with that. So I guess in 2019, you cannot, don't go trying to reach out to, trying to go overboard or go above and beyond to try to reach anybody that's up there because very likely you're just wasting your time and your money and your effort and everything else that comes with it. It seems like more people is focused on wanting to help people when they already, you know, they already have clout. So once you have clout, I'll jump on a, on, on a wave. But if there is no clout yet and you do, you, you take the time to save some money to, and to make a big statement to let me know that, hey, I'm there and I'm interested and I've been trying to get your attention. I didn't, there's no other way to do it than to do that. They end up getting mad. Some people argue that basically, uh, well, if she put this whole statement on a billboard, then that means she wanted the whole world to see it. I'm like, hmm, okay. So I guess he, I guess the best way she could have done is DM him for 10 years straight, right? And hopefully he sees it, right? Or, let me see, stalk him, follow him, be where he's gonna be and try to get past his securities. Uh, meet find out who his friends are and try to be friends with them too i guess then you'll be a stalker or try to what else was she gonna do to to reach tyler perry send him 10 million dms so that he can ignore it every single time what, what, what was she gonna do the only way the only thing she could do to actually grab his attention is to make a statement do something that's bigger than your voice Obviously, she's not popping like that. So she got to do something that's going to be bigger than her voice. All right? And that's exactly what she did. But, of course, it was wrong. It was a waste of time. And she shouldn't have done that. So, at this point, I, you know, I'm thinking in 2019, if 2019 is like that, it's only going to get worse from there. You know, I always say, I feel like, this is not about Tyler Perry, but I feel like, you know, anytime you ask someone of color about their success in, you know, pointers to, 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 to achieving great things and, hey, you know what, you want to give me some pointers, got some advice, some guidance, some, uh, uh, um, you know, ways to go about achieving a certain things, wh whether it's business, whether it's becoming a, a, a photographer, a movie store, whatever it may be. Uh, these people always have some side bullshit instead of actually taking time to tell you, hey, you know what, this is how you go about this, this is how you go about it. They would rather tell you, hey man, you know, it's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of working up early, you gotta be dedicated, you gotta want success as much as you wanna breathe. You're bullshitting me. What are you talking about, bro? I'm asking you step by step, what do I need to do to get to where I need to be? I don't need to know I'm gonna be successful when it's when I want to, to succeed as bad as I want to breathe. Huh? So you think people that's out here, that's working a regular job, they all continue to work their job for the rest of their life because they're not wanting to succeed as bad as they want to breathe or something like that? I'm not, I'm not saying every single human being just wants to succeed. Some people work a job and they're content. They like it because not everybody's supposed to be not working a job. So then who's going to work the job if, not, if everybody's doing something else? But what I'm saying is just because someone is Shit is hard. People have to put you on. Like, you know how many great singers, great actors, great artists, great beatboxers, great drivers, great... These people don't get a fucking opportunity. They don't get a chance. With millions of subscribers, millions of uh, 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 um, 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 followers on, on, on Instagram. There's no labels calling them, no movie producers calling them and telling them, Hey, I want you to be part of my... No, they're not calling these people. Just because you have that doesn't mean shit nowadays. You know what I mean? So all in all, I just feel like, you know, people, it's like, I don't know if it's in people of color. Oh, I don't know what it is. You just, anytime you're seeking help, it, you get more bullshit than actual 
something that's gonna help you, you know, move one step forward. Like general crappy shape, uh, uh, um, cliche ass answers. Like, bro, no, this is the real world. People make efforts. It's hard for people to do certain things nowadays. So when someone making an effort to prove to you that they want to be part of your team and want to be there and actually put in the work, and and through lips people will tell you, man, that's how you go about achieving your dream. You you gotta that this is what you do, like what she did. She went above and beyond. Through lips they're gonna tell you that. But when it's time to give you an opportunity to make some money to change your life, it's bullshit. Now it's crazy how that works. But all in all, it's just my opinion on the whole matter. That's all. I just thought that Tyler Perry could have handled it better. That's all. And I felt like her effort totally went down the drain, went to waste. When she's inspired by someone and she did all that to prove that she's willing to do whatever it takes. But it was not seen that way. When she finally got the little attention that she got, it went towards telling her that, hey, I did not like what you did. This is sad. Damn. Anyway, man, thanks for watching. I'm out.